I'm gonna stop right here. Cause this is obsessive. <laughs> I was like, I hope you make it. <laughs> I will get my money's worth out of a set. Like, I'm gonna wear the set over and over and over again. <laughs> Don't touch it! <laughs> Thursdays are my Friday because I work a four by 10. So um, I work four days a week, 10 hours a day, and then I'm off on Fridays technically. But lately I've been working like a ton of overtime. So I've been working on Fridays too, um, which is the case this week. <laughs> so first thing I usually do when I get off Friday is kind of like tidy up my space so that on Sunday, my one day off, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm doing now. I just finished cleaning up the kitchen and the living room a little bit. I still have like a little bit of tidying up to do, but this space is mostly clean. I wanted to show you guys this spray I've been using from Target. I like it. It smells so good. Like it smells so good that it made me go out and buy like lemon and citrus refills for my air wick um, because it's spring-ish, almost summer now, and I needed to transition my scent. So because this smelled so good, I was like, ooh, it would be nice to have like my house always smell like a clean kitchen, <laughs> which I like associate with lemon. So anyway, um, smells really good. The only thing is like, I feel like when I wipe it down, once it dries, you can still see like the pattern that I wiped in. So now I'm like super obsessive about wiping it like back and forth so that like if you see those streaks, they're straight. I don't like that. I don't like that. Maybe you guys know, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm using too much, like spraying too much or something. Maybe I should dilute it with water. I don't know, but what I do know is that I don't like, if I wipe something down, why would I want it to look like there are streaks still? Um, so that's not my favorite thing, but um, maybe if I can figure out how to use it appropriately, like that would be better. Um, anyway, that's that. Um, and I don't really like get new cleaning products like often, like I stick to my good old faithfuls. I've been using Pine Sol since I was a child. Although I did switch over to glass cleaner from Windex when I first moved in this house. But I think that's because they changed, they absolutely changed the formula in Windex. Like it leaves streaks now, which as you know, I have a problem with. <laughs> I feel like it wasn't leaving streaks when I was a child or maybe it was and I just didn't care because um, all I wanted to do was go outside. So I was just like rushing through the cleaning anyway. But anyway, when I moved into this house, I felt like the Windex was leaving streaks. And so we changed over to glass cleaner. That's my whole rant for the day. I'm gonna stop right here. Cause this is obsessive. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna chill and read for a little bit. Relax my mind. Um, I started a new book. It's spicy y'all. It's spicy. I'll I'll put it in the description box. You guys will see the title soon. This is definitely like a book you need to read on your Kindle. Oh my god. <laughs> this man's a clown. <laughs> or it breaks down walls between generations or between male and female or it breaks down walls between rich and poor and it affects something like worry in your life. Like what are you worrying about? Maybe you're worrying about finances or your kids or your health. Whatever it is that you're worried about, perhaps it's consuming you. Like your mind keeps racing, you can't sleep, you're obsessing over it. Now, what are you going to do? Just say, stop worrying? Well, does that work for you? <laughs> it doesn't for me. So good luck with that, if that's your strategy. But instead, maybe you want to ask, 
How is worry not in line with the truth of the gospel? Play NPR up first. Here's the latest news. Murder him. Murder him. Clearly. <laughs> I'm gonna murder this man. <laughs> you should. I told... I tried to tell her. I knew it. I knew it. I called it. I called it. Hello? and then I need to get upstairs to work by nine o'clock because I have to get off by 5.30. Um, so last night I went to a game with my dad. We went to the Nats game, they played the Mets. I can't tell you who won because we left at the top of the eighth um, and I didn't even look. But um, when I left, the Nats were losing like three, two. Um, but anyway, we had so much fun. Like I had so much fun. I love hanging out with my dad. So that was a lot of fun. We actually bought him um, tickets to five different games this season. Um, so I got to go with him to the first game um, and I chose that one because as you may or may not know, I spent five years living in New York. Um, I went to a lot of Mets games while I was there. So that was a lot of fun. My dad was like, you need one of those split hats. I did have on the Nets t-shirt last night. Um, but he was like, yeah, you need one of those split hats. And I was like, definitely do. Um, last night was super fun. Um, and then, so I slept in a little bit today, which is why I'm kind of in a rush. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make myself some breakfast because I need to get off at 5.30, that's why I started this. I need to get off at 5.30 because I'm going to a soccer game with one of my best friends from law school tonight. I'll probably get dressed and showered and everything at lunch so that I can start heading over there as soon as I get off. Um, but yeah, it is now 8.39 and I have like 20 minutes 
to eat and get upstairs. I think I'm just gonna cook and have my breakfast upstairs. <laughs> Got out of the game. First DC United game. Oh, came with the life. tie. Yes. Appreciate the good luck. He was about to tell me I couldn't come to the game. He was about to get excommunicated He from was the like, list. you bad luck. Bad, bad luck, <laughs> bad luck. But I made a comeback. Or well, they made a comeback. Shout out to Carl. I was like, I hope he made it. <laughs> I, I just went home. <laughs> getting ready to go over my mom's house. I have to stop and pick up her gift. It wasn't ready until today. It's been ready, I just wasn't ready to pay for it. <laughs> so, going to go pick it up today. Um, but I did already get the card in the bag, so it should not take me long. Um, I love this card. And then, let me show you guys what it says. I think this is so great, because can't ever forget that like your mom was a whole person <laughs> before she was your mom and continues to be an entire person, not just your mother. Um, and I love that about my mom, like she's 100% herself. Um, she's the best. Uh, she has taught me to be 100% myself. So when I saw this card, like I knew it was the perfect one. I think I read maybe three cards. <laughs> like I'm not the type to spend like four hours in the card aisle, but I will find the card that says what I wanted to say. And so um, I was really happy to find that one. So yeah, I'm just gonna fill this out with some additional stuff and then I'll show you guys a package I got in yesterday that I'm super excited about. Woo, now I'm about to cry. Okay, <laughs> pull it together. Um, yeah, every year I was like writing my Mother's Day card. I like, <clears throat> Yeah, <laughs> I love my mom, she's the best. Okay, pull it together. <laughs> pull it together. Um, super excited to go see her. All right, I was like, did I get the wrong size envelope? It is snug, snug in there. That is done. Got like some tissue paper in here so I can Prepare the gift when I get to the house because do people ever really prepare their gifts and cards before they go somewhere? Like usually I'm filling this card out in the driveway. <laughs> so I feel ahead of the game this year. I've been trying to like find my scent. I have this dream of like just being a woman who has a signature scent, but I feel like I wear so many different types of perfume. I don't have like a signature scent. Um, and that's mostly just because I don't like anything enough to like wear it every day, which is weird because I am a routine person. Like this set, I will get my money's worth out of a set. Like I'm going to wear the set over and over and over again, but like, I, I don't feel the same way about perfumes. <laughs> so anyway, um, and not that I'm going to limit myself. Like if I go out for a date night or whatever, like I'll wear a different set if I, like feel like a scent matches my outfit, I'm gonna wear that scent. But like on days where I'm just like lounging around the house or like I'm just running to the grocery store, like I wanna have that one perfume that is like my signature scent. So anyway, I say all that to say, I always get like travel size perfumes or like um, discovery sets to like figure out what I like. Um, and so this is from a black owned brand. I've actually been looking at getting one of their perfumes for a minute, but like they aren't sold in stores. So it's not like I could like test it out. And they recently just had their discovery sets come out or get come back in stock. So I'm really excited to try these. And I also got something from them for my best friend. Cause her birthday is next month. So I grabbed something from for her as well, but this is what I got for myself. Um, so it's their discovery set 
and it has like all their fragrances or I'm assuming most of them. So I'm really excited to like try these out and see what I like. It's so pretty. I love their bottles. Like I'll put up a picture of their bottle. Um, I can't wait to figure out which one of these I like and at least purchase one, if not a couple, um, just because I love the packaging. <laughs> so this came in the mail yesterday. Also their shipping was super fast. I ordered this on Thursday and it came yesterday, which was Saturday. So the shipping um, was really fast for me. It has the notes on the back so you can see like what each fragrance has going on. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to try this. I feel like I'm gonna love Dawn. I love Amber, vanilla. Yes, it's Amber Resin and Vanilla Bourbon. So I feel like I'm gonna love Dawn. And they've got a couple that seem like they'd be good for spring, which is what I'm actually looking for right now. So super excited to try these out. This Peach Nectar Golden Gardenia and Tuberose sounds like, that's Bahia, that's the top one. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it seems like three of them might be cities and three of them are like times of day. That's not true. Anyway, um, I wanna look up like the story of this brand. It says it's clean, vegan, and cruelty-free. So yeah, hopefully these ingredients are, <laughs> are not harmful. But anyway, super excited to try those out when I get home. JK, JK, I literally can't help myself. Like I have to smell this right now. Um, which one was the one I said? Dawn. Let's try, I'm not gonna spray it on myself. I just wanna. <laughs> that wasn't because of the smell, it literally got my nose. It smells really, oh, it smells really good. It smells really good. No, that face I made was because I literally leaned into it and it went directly up my nostrils, which was like silly of me. Oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, so I like Dawn. I just couldn't wait. I had to smell it like right away. All right, so I'm going to let that rest and let my nostrils recover. Um, guys, I wish I had smell it in. It smells so good. Hi, um, may I have a, are you guys still Baskin Robbins? Yeah. Okay. So it's a pint of butter pecan, and a quart of butter pecan and vanilla? Yes, please. All right, anything else for me? That's it. You have a Okay, thank you. It threw me off because the, uh, <laughs> the, like menu was just Dunkin' stuff. There was no like Baskin Robbins stuff on the menu. So I was like, did they stop being Baskin Robbins as well? Cause that would be devastating. Hi. I will be okay. Thank you. Thanks, have a good one. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Okay. Okay. Present is from all of your children. Okay. Perfect. Ooh, pretty car. You are so many things to so many people, but the most admirable thing you are as true to yourself. Oh my God, thank you. I've always looked up to you for that and I'm just really proud to call you my mom. Happy Mother's Day with love, Cara. Aww. Okay, I'm not gonna read the dear mommy thank part. You. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Love you. Love you, mama. I you know, I don't wanna hear what it say. Well, it's you it's personal. It's for your mother. All right, let's see. Y'all are so funny! <laughs> I just took your dick. You did? <laughs> no, she's just talking about Oh my god, I just said I want one of those. <laughs> oh, thank you. I nest her. <laughs> she's heavy. And now I will thank set it guys. up for you. Yes, please do. <laughs> Before I go. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, Linda. Happy Mother's Day, Linda. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Happy Mother's Day to you as well. Yeah, because you don't have a next thermostat. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go.
good. <laughs> he said, Daddy said, can't control the thermostat. Whatever. <laughs> These men in these thermos. Yeah. I don't know what it is. All right. We didn't tell you about your baby. What you do? When uh, Jordan was up, when Jordan was up here. Yeah. yeah. I think we were down here. I think we were down here, and I walked up to the thermostat. <laughs> said, "Don't touch it." <laughs> She did. She did. She's, She's like, don't touch it. I was like, Jordan. Right. I was like. Wish we could touch that thermostat. Bro. <laughs> I can't believe I do what I want to do, but I don't touch the thermostat. Yeah. Now my mom is a grown woman. Wow. She, don't, she still don't touch the thermostat. Thermostats are like strictly dad, <laughs> like dad territory. I said thermostats are strictly dad territory. They gave you an extra one? Oh yeah, send that Johnson back up here. What is it? A thermostat. Oh, a nest? Yeah, they gave me an extra one. Oh, nice. They didn't mean to. That's, That's all right. Fine. That's all right, we ain't got to worry about Lord have mercy, they got it in them. here. I'm so excited. I just like, that is weird. I'll show you. I literally just told your dad this, did you know? What? That they were get. I just told you that like this last week. What? That I would they like one of this? Yeah, you just told it was. Oh yeah. I think we, it was this week that you said it. We well, were coming from week. somewhere. Yeah. Oh, I didn't tell them to Blair Tay. No. Oh Lord, we, you would have had two. Yeah. I, <laughs> no, I wasn't asking for one. I was just saying at some point. I said, you know what? I think I want one of those because then I can do my recipes. Right. Just saying it. You know it. <laughs> she, just, she can't help initial go and buy it and then. Listen. As I'm running out of products, I'm trying to replace them with less harmful products. So this is um, a sunscreen. I checked it out on Yuka since I'm almost out of the sunscreen I have. You saw a couple of the options that I looked at. So that Bioma brand, I actually have a serum of theirs. And then I think I have something else of theirs. No, that's it. I looked at the face wash, but I haven't gotten it because the Cetaphil, um, was 100 out of 100 and I think theirs was pretty close. It was probably like in the 90s. So, and a lot of their stuff is like in the 90 to 100 range. So I was really surprised that the sunscreen was so low. Um, I almost got that Well People one. The thing that kind of turned me off was the price. It was like a 1.2 ounce container of sunscreen and it was 30 bucks. So, no. So I ended up getting this Force Shield. It's also rather small it's only 1.69 fluid ounces um but it was 100 out of 100 which the well people was i think like 93 out of 100 these are the ingredients um as you can see they're all green so um i'm excited to try this out um it's also without nanoparticles it actually has like a lot <laughs> a lot of ingredients I'm still scrolling um, but they're all green so that's good hundred out of a hundred excellent score on yucca um, it was a little bigger than the other container and it was also ten dollars cheaper so oh it's cute packaging okay you guys know like that's how they get me is the packaging um, I checked so many sunscreens and they were all pretty bad like very low scores like eight out of a hundred um, so I'm excited to have this. It's an SPF 30. It says it's for all skin types. Um, Cause you guys know I have sensitive skin and I will, my face will erupt, <laughs> like erupt if it doesn't like something. Um, so this should work out. The other reason why I didn't get the well people one was because it was a tinted moisturizer sunscreen. 
and I just couldn't tell from the packaging like if it was my color and the sunscreen that I've been using for like the past couple of months was also tinted and it was leaving like a white film on my face which I wasn't a fan of so I'm excited to try this oh it's super cute packaging okay yeah so I'll let you guys know in next weekend's vlog um I will have been using this for a week so I'll let you guys know how I like it um but yeah you're supposed to reapply every two hours <laughs> I never do that I think I'm doing good like putting it on in the morning um, obviously I need to do better so anyway that's it for this weekend you guys I had so much fun hanging out with my dad going to different sporting events um, and hanging out with my mom today it was so fun she loved her gift um, so I can't wait to see you guys next weekend I'm actually going on a little trip um, for my sister-in-law's birthday so I'll bring you guys along on that and I will see you next week <laughs>